So you guys can hear me, right? Okay. Um, let me just share my screen. So uh, today we're gonna be looking at uh, DVC or uh, data version uh, control. So, uh, I'm sorry, okay. So what does it mean? So we have seen uh, Git and GitHub and how we use them to uh, as a, to a version control our code. And now we, we're gonna be lo looking at uh, DVC, which is used to as a version control for our data. But uh, the reality is uh, the name is not uh, really expressive of the, uh, the functions of DVC because the DVC is not meant for uh, only for the data. It's all also work for uh, code and also models, machine learning models. So uh, the data is not right, but uh, also the version control is done by Git, not uh, DVC. So uh, that's something to look for to look uh, forward to. But let's start. So uh, data version control is a system uh, for tracking change to uh, our data over time. So as we use Git for our code, we use uh, the, uh, the DVC or data version control si system to track changes. So, uh, so that we can revert back to our original data or previous data or look at uh, uh, the types or uh, or how the changes that were made to the data provided. So, and uh, we, we can also look at when and where uh, the changes uh, were made and by whom. So it's uh, used for tracking. So uh, it also, uh, as I have mentioned earlier, it also uh, tracks models and codes. And this is necessary because uh, it enables uh, us to reproduce uh, and collaborate. So reproduction, no, uh, reproduce means uh, like research. So you write research papers because, uh, and you write the details of your research because if someone somewhere wants to do it and get your result, they will be able to write. So DVC helps us with this one too. So it also allows us to come back to our previous version of uh, the data if the changes we made uh, were uh, or bring some unnecessary things to the data. So uh, the benefits of uh, DVC are the first one is versioning. So it's easy, it makes it easy to track the changes that are made for models or data or uh, codes over time. And this uh, is helpful to uh, regulate compliances between uh, team members and others. The second and most important thing is uh, the ability to pro reproduct, reproduce, like the, the, if you want to do it again or recreate the experiment, you can do it by using DVC. And collaboration, you can share your data with your teammates. So that's one thing. And scalability, if the data you are working on uh, is large, let's say uh, two, gigabytes, it's not uh, advisable to push it to Git. So DVC will help with, with this one, uh, since you can work directly from remote uh, storage like uh, G Drive and others, or S3 from uh, Amazon Web Service and so on. And the last thing is uh, data integrity. So if it helps, uh, to ensure the integrity of uh, our data because we can always revert back to a checkpoint. So that's a big thing. Um, so that's just the introduction of DVC. Are there any uh, 
uh, questions. Okay, uh, I'm going to take that as a no. Uh, okay. So, uh, to use DVC, some of this, some of the main uh, uh, codes that you are going to use is uh, DVC in it, just to initialize uh, the DVC project in the current uh, di directory. So, uh, and the second one is DVC gate. So, uh, like, let's look at uh, the git equivalent of this uh, codes, right? So. DVC init is equivalent with uh, git init, and DVC git is equivalent with uh, git pool. And DVC add is git add, the same thing. This is just to add uh, data or repository to start tracking by DVC. And DVC remote add minus D uh, actually, uh, so, you could have your storage you you could make your storage to be a local storage um, or on the cloud or on the web and so on so this code is going to help you to set up uh, the location the storage lo location that you want um, and it's going to have it set as default so when you sorry when you uh, DVC push, it's going to push it to this uh, lo location, wherever it is. And DV DVC pull is just the reverse of DVC push. So it downloads track data uh, from the specified location to our uh, local margin. And the last one is uh, DVC checkout. So DVC checkout is how we are going to uh, revert back to uh, the version that we want to work on. So it's going to restore our data or uh, model to that specified specific uh, commit of the project. So these are some of uh, the, actually these are most of the codes that you are going to be using while uh, working with uh, PVC before um, moving forward are there any questions the okay, camera seems to get it what about the others okay is it clear or okay yeah it seems to be like that okay um let's just uh, have a couple of examples so let me just See my uh, oh, let's see. Okay, can you see it? Uh, is that a question? How about we store that data in Git large files? You can, you can do this, you can do it, but. Uh, this is just another way of storing it, but you can, Matthews. So, um, this is just a new repo that I've just created. So, um, let's see. So, the first thing you, you're going to do is uh, pip install. Uh, DVC. So 
and if you want um, sorry if you want it to uh, be to track your uh, repo you're gonna um, I, I think I should have uh, started with on the environment that I that I've already been using. Okay, let me just share another uh, report. Okay. okay, so in this uh, environment, I have already installed uh, DVC, so it's activated already. You, you can see my screen, right? Um, yes. Okay. Okay. So, so um, as you can see, As you can see, when you uh, DVC in it, it's going to create, let me just force it. Okay. So, this is because I haven't initiated a Git uh, on this repo, on this di directory. So that's why I used uh, no C uh, SCM. But if you have already uh, started uh, with Git or uh, you have initiated Git, it won't ask you to this one. So when you uh, get in it, or the first thing that you are going to see is this one. This is. Uh, the DVC uh, dot uh, DVC ignore file, and this one, the DVC uh, folder. So here you're gonna see uh, the remotes. So this one actually is uh, because I have added it earlier. So you, you're gonna have that one in the dot ignore file. So this is automatically created when you are using when you initiate the. Uh, DVC. So the second thing I did was, um, so this is your data. Okay, I thought, so. So this is your data and I want to track it, right? So DVC add uh, data slash let me just uh, copy the path. No, I, I copied actually the absolute path, but it's okay. So, okay, it's already been tracking. So it's uh, outside. Let me just clear this one. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. So I want to add this one. I think it's better. I think it's 
later to start another repo. Sorry for that again, but let me just go back to the earlier since it's already finished installing. Okay. Okay. So let me just get in it here and then uh, DVC in it. Yeah. Now it's working. So you have your DVC. So the config is already nothing in it because we haven't. Uh, configured anything and the git ignore is also just not to push the temp, the clutch and the other files the dvc ignore is also uh, that doesn't include anything so uh, let's make a directory called data and um, let's just add the data from our um, remote storage. So uh, actually this one is uh, supplied by by them. So so it's going to have the data. It's going to download the data from the, our uh, GitHub or from anywhere, from any website you want that you have stored. It could be from the cloud, it could be from anywhere. So here, you can see that it's already uh, downloaded the data, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna track it, right? Am I audible, guys? Yes, yes. Okay, so uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, git add, my, uh, so, sorry, uh, dvc add, and add the data, slash uh, data uh, dot xml. So here, uh, it's already started uh, tracking this file. So you can see here, uh, on the git ignore no no sorry i haven't already so here it's going to uh, it's uh, telling me to add this one because it's not being tracked by uh, git so let me just copy it and paste it here so it's git is also uh, has is also tra tracking these files yeah so this is the how you you're gonna add uh, a data to your dvc and start tracking it so the next thing uh, that we're gonna see is uh, just to add uh, a remote lo location this remote location could be uh, on the server on a uh, cloud or anything so um for now let's just set it uh okay let's set it as our local i think uh, on your uh challenge do document it states to use the, your local so uh dvc remote uh add uh like minus d and your remote is going to be let's say uh okay examples like data slash uh, track Sorry, I didn't get, give it a name, so let's just give it a name here. Um, let's call it local. 
الحل ستورج سو اتس اوريدي ذا لوكال ستورج از ذا ديفولت ريموت ستورج سو وي كان سي اتس هير ان افكت اكشلي سو اف يو سي ذا كونفيج فايل سو اتس بوينتينج توارد ذا لوكال ستورج سو ريموت مينز ذا لوكال ستورج اند ذا يو ار يو ار ال اور ذا باث از جاست داتا سلاش تراك So I have added the storage that I am going to be using. Is it clear so so far, guys? Or I might just talking nonsense. Hello. Okay. Okay. So if we uh, so we have already set our storage. So let's just push it right. DVC push. So here it's already pushed one file. So we can see here from our uh, inside our data di directory track is already created. So here the name is not related. So um, under track there there is files and md not five. This is uh, gi gi uh, this is given by uh, uh, the uh, the DCV and under twenty two we have this file. So this file is the, our data, and it's just pointing to it. It's not already there. So, so this is how you're gonna push to your uh, uh, like storage. Let's say it could be on the web, like um, G Drive, if you want, and it could be on uh, Amazon Web Service, like S3 and other things. And when you want to make, uh, when you want to use the data, you can just say uh, pull, DVC pull, and it will pull it. Since we already have it, it doesn't make sense, but you, you can. And the last thing is uh, checkout. So if you make uh, any uh, change, To your uh, file, you can check out that specific uh, commit and uh, go back to that data. So that's just the introduction to DVC. So from now on, you're not expected um, to push. Actually, it's not recommended to push your raw data or your data to Git. Because most datas are sensitive and are not uh, recommended to be uh, pushed to Git, so you can use the, uh, this uh, uh, DVC from now. So, any questions or anything that I have to go through again, or uh, anything that's not clear? Abraham, okay, Abraham understands it. So, anyone else? Okay, Junior. Danny, okay. Uh, can we read uh, the data set from remote? From yes. Panda. From what? From Panda. Panda? Yeah, like. Uh, uh, you can uh, pull it, yeah. You can pull. Yeah. You, you can pull your uh, data from your remote uh, storage and it's going to be stored in, on your local storage and then you can use it use pandas or any uh, anything to read or you you okay. can open it like i just did but we cannot give it the url right you are real you can okay. you are real what do you mean I mean, we can uh, we can read by URL giving the URL to the so, panda. Meter. Like when you are um, the URL so of the data. URL of the data. So here, here when we uh, already set the remote location, you can choose uh, just so. By URL, I'm imagining that you mean that the data is yeah. stored on drive, right? On the server, yeah. So 
you can just here uh, write g drive slash slash and gi gi uh, just give it the g drive uh, lo location or uh, html and you can access it from there okay Okay, uh, another question. Yes, Abraham. Uh, okay, so can you can you maybe tell us uh, uh, after what kind of uh, operation uh, we should uh, we should. Uh, you should track our data. Most, uh, most of the time, uh, the data is uh, always uh, the same. I don't know when the what uh, what is the scenario uh, for okay. for thing. You understand okay. me? Uh, let me. Okay. So, uh, you want to know when to start uh, like tracking your data, right? So uh, what I would advise and what's yes, recommended? Yes, Yeah, OK. So what I would advise you, or, and also what's recommended is that you start tracking your data as soon as you get it. So uh, if you start to track it right now, and uh, along the way, if you are changing or if you are manipulating your data and uh, something goes wrong, you can just check out the earlier version and start working from there. But if you uh, decide uh, to start tracking it at some point and you want to go back to the original or somewhere in the middle, you're gonna have a hard time to doing it. So I need to uh, track those, uh, my code uh, and uh, my data separately. Uh, um, so actually, as I've mentioned earlier, so even though the name DVC uh, states that it's a data uh, version control, the version control is done by Git, right? So uh, you can do them uh, like together. Like, uh, like I've shown earlier, when you add, you know, when you change something on your uh, data, you can only you have to also commit it i didn't show you that because i'm not uh, on a repo but you can commit it add it and push it to your repo the same commits that's how you can check out uh, the earlier versions actually the, the like dvc doesn't have that power or leak it so it's built on git do i make sense abraham uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, just just to be clear, so uh, just like I am doing a, a commit, uh, maybe like three three uh, more than three commits a day to track my code. Uh, I have to uh, commit uh, my my changes uh, of data using uh, not uh, the Git commit, but using this uh, DVC commit too, right? If it doesn't have a commit, it doesn't have a commit, so it no. automatically struck uh, the changes. No, no, the commit is done by Git. Like okay, okay. If it doesn't have a version control, the version control is done by Git. That's what okay. I was trying to yeah. Okay, okay, so okay, thank you. Whenever you make a change or whenever you are uh, tracking a new data, whenever you make some addition to your data, you're going to get committed. So when you check out, you're going to che check out that commit and uh, again, you're going to uh, DVC check out. So when you, uh, if you say, if you have seen, uh, here when i said did dvc checkout i didn't choose anything right because uh, yes. it doesn't have any other attributes but if i say uh, 
git check checkout is going to show show me the commits right and i can choose where i want to check out and go there but after doing that you you can write uh, the dvc checkout and it's the data is going to be reverted to that point got it thank you thank you okay 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 any other questions? Okay. Uh, Daniel, do you still have a question or? No, I just couldn't. Okay. Uh, I just saw you high, your hand. Okay. Yeah. So, any other questions before we wrap up the, the session? So, how is the challenge going? So far, it's, uh, it's going good. Okay. So it's a interesting one. So may, make sure to uh, like go deeper into it and ask the questions if you have any. So um, if there are no questions, let me just stop the recording.